If you look at how do we reduce the cost, monoculture would be the easiest way to do it because economy yeah. scale, right? But as you said earlier, that also makes the system very fragile because if something is wrong with the supply chain, the whole thing breaks. So having more localized version of it, essentially you're enriching diversity in the ecosystem, essentially. So you don't have mono, you have diversity of the different players, smaller players, which is good for the ecosystem overall. Yeah. However, where I have challenges about is you, it, the price of the individual local system is going to go up compared you at the same time, you also have a lower cost, uh, a food item. So now the consumer is presented with an option, a $3 bottle of honey yeah. okay, to a one bottle, sorry, $1 uh, bottle of honey. Most consumers, myself included, are just pick like, okay, so honey's makes no difference for me. Let me pay the dollar, save the two. So you go yeah. against that. How, even though I know this is the right thing to do, I still buy the dollar honey. How do you then raise the awareness or change the purchasing behavior yeah personally no absolutely i i, I totally agree and i'm the same situation yeah why should i spend nine dollars for this honey versus right, this right. One, 150 exactly. yeah that's nine times more expensive that's, exactly uh, that's yeah pretty good. and so first of all I would say as a major disclaimer, it's a very fast and complex problem because mm -hmm. there's so many things that are dependent. For example, if you look at the US, it is an industry that has been highly dependent on conglomerates around corn production. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And then there's incentives and there's systems in place to actually mm -hmm. keep the price of meat down. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of deep economic dependencies that are you know, created by different forms of lobbying for reasons of how this system was supposed to work, but is is based on one key element, which is really hard when it goes back to consumer behavior. Mm -hmm. It is going with the logic of abundance. Mm -hmm. Here, there's an expectation of abundance on everything. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how you define customer satisfaction. I can have everything I want, whenever I want, in the largest quantity for the lowest price. And food shouldn't be treated that way. Mm, okay. interesting. There's a lot of product that shouldn't be treated that way in, in general. But if you look at what your body needs, we are overly consuming protein meats, which is, you know, the highest, mm -hmm. uh, the most costly protein you can buy. Mm -hmm. But we expect abundance of that. We expect eating a pound of meat every day, a steak on the table. So reversing the idea and saying, okay, actually I'm going to eat red meat maybe once a week, but I'm going to eat something that is pasture raised, that has good quality, that's actually good for my body and good for the planet. Mm -hmm. It takes a whole different logic because then if you eat only one piece of meat a week and you divide this by how many times you buy the same piece of meat, this is the economy adjusts itself. That's just one aspect. I'm not saying we're going to solve everything because mm -hmm. definitely it's another problem is how we create food that is affordable uh, for everyone. And that's a mix of, that's a mix of regionalizations of agriculture. You can do this with having techniques of regenerative agriculture. There's a lot of technology today that we should invest in that can help grow and get better product at a lower and lower price. So it's the same thing. So what is the acquisition cost of a new technology? And then how this technology over time actually reduce the, your overall cost. So mm -hmm. that's another aspect when you look at uh, sustainability. We could go for hours, but that's why it's so complex. It takes public institutions, governments, uh, private institutions, lobbyists, consumer mm -hmm. pressure to actually change something but you look back in europe there's so many countries that are so ahead of us here on those topics that are mm -hmm. 10 15 years ahead of us in terms of reducing the footprints and still you know being able to actually provide food for categories of population mm.